Welcome on board of Aramis, a Falcon 86 yacht built in 2002. Falcon Yachts has been a renowned Italian shipyard, building reliable yachts that also perform well in rough seas. What we need to emphasize on Aramis is that the owner, the crew and also the professional management company called Yachting Concept Monaco have been looking carefully after this yacht to keep her in really perfect condition. And believe me, I've seen a lot of boats since I started in yachting in 2006. So here in this off-deck lounge we have a very generous space with two access stairs leading down to the bathroom platform. Behind there you have the entrance to the engine room and another one here. And then you have a comfortable lounge with a dining table that you can fold away, so it's more of a lounge table setup. And then of course the stairs leading up to the flybridge on the port side. And then follow me into the saloon through a sliding door that I find incredibly large for a yacht designed in 2002. It's of course with uh, shaded glass and also the saloon is surrounded with a big glass window. To have a uh, delight to stay a bit more outside you have uh, these uh, white uh, blinds that you can pull down and then obviously you have a TV on a rise and fall system as well as some decorative lamps and then you have an interior a dining table setup and on the starboard side you have the stairs leading down to the master and guest cabin and there you have a sliding door going forward to the galley and then the helm station where also you can have uh, you access the VIP forward guest cabin. All in all I have to say it's a very generous very spacious uh, and uh, comfortable feeling uh, saloon for me if you sit on the sofa, you can really look out nicely into the uh, surrounding uh, scenery. And of course, the whole interior is a very classic uh, high gloss cherry wood uh, setup. Before we go down to the master and guest cabin, I want to mention that the AV system has just been updated to the most recent Sonos system, which also you can control via this iPad. Coming from the saloon, you have this division door that actually allows the crew to work and uh, cook the food while the guests are uninterrupted. Here you have the access to the flybridge, the galley, the day head where you guests can go to the toilet. And then here we have the starboard side forward staircase to the VIP cabin. And then on both sides, we do actually have this uh, side doors also in the galley, which I find very practical uh, for the crew to access the decks. Now I'm entering to the port side door to the galley, which is also generously set up with lots of daylight, double sink configuration, melee uh, dishwasher, uh, oven induction cooking field, lots of storage, microwave, and then your double Samsung fridge and freezer combination for lots of cold storage. Again, over here you have more storage and a nice uh, uh, worktop area, so there can actually be a couple of people working here simultaneously in the galley, which is very important if you want to have a, a good, uh, a decent service for your guests. Here in the helm station, this is a very generous setup. Of course, you have your steering wheel, all the engine controls, VHF, new Simrad plotter also here, CCTV camera system, the MTU electronic engine displays, you have your wind indicator, depth and uh, speed, which is uh, uh, also the Raymarin multifunction displays. And then you have a nice antique uh, uh, telephone here and then the weather fax system. And what I also like about uh, this setup is that you have a generous lounge actually if you want to join the captain for some long distance cruising and then obviously some storage area. And just behind you, we can see now that there are all the uh, breakers, circuit breakers and electronic uh, measurements displays and switches, so the technical area here is really uh, generously arranged. Coming down the stairs you have the corridor 
with the access to the master cabin, which is beautifully classic setup, but also well proven with a queen size bed, TV, mirror with decorative lamps. Here you have a cosmetic table, lots of light coming into the porthole, and then the ensuite shower and the bathroom is located further forward, actually between the bed and the forward VIP cabin. So also you don't have the water noise uh, splashing on the bow. And then the shower is very generously arranged and you can see how well maintained the interior also is here in the bathroom. Not to forget to mention the walk-in wardrobe and lots of storage anywhere. Then coming out of the master cabin, we find another storage locker in the corridor and you go further aft where you have a twin guest cabin with a console in the middle. Lots of light coming in as well, then a good storage compartment and the beautiful ensuite shower and toilet bathroom. Everything nicely set up and maintained. Again, also here you can feel the quality. And then on the port side, you have this double bed. Again, locker for good storage. And the beautiful sink with marble stone. And then here again, a shower. So now we access the engine room through this storage compartment. In the engine room, you find two MTU M91 engines, each with 1,500 horsepower, with only 2,500 hours on the clock. With this power, the yacht comfortably reaches a top speed of 24 knots, with a cruising speed of 20 knots, at which they consume a total of 400 liters per hour. With a fuel capacity of 8,500 liters, the range at cruising speed is up to 425 nautical miles. Going forward to the bow area, you find lots of storage in each side. Then you have a generous sunbed set up on the top and the crew cabin access is with this hatch. You go down the ladder and then you find two crew cabins, each with two beds and a shower toilet uh, en suite. So two bathrooms for the crew for a total of four crew. And what the crew tells me they really like is the generous uh, work area with the two capable winches for the twin anchor uh, arrangement. And then obviously you access the anchor chain locker through here with uh, some fresh water washing system, two very big and sturdy cleats with a intelligent rolling system for the mooring lines. And of course you uh, can also control the anchor winch with this remote control. And then you have a good storage for your fenders, which is very valuable to tuck them away. Coming up the stairs to the flybridge, you find a lot of space that stores you four and a half tender. This one is actually from Novorania and it's a four meter 30 with a new four years old Yamaha outboard engine. It's a 50 horsepower one. So it's just the cover that is from Williams. And on this side, you can store the jet ski and this is the hydraulic crane. I personally find this flyer bridge really beautiful. Look at this table. You have space for eight people for a comfortable dining setup. You have a nicely arranged sunroof that really gives you the right, the shade in the right places. And then here you have a vet bar with a fridge, some storage, a sink, you can close everything. And then here obviously you have the necessary sun basing with a lot of storage also underneath. And then of course we, for, we go forward to the Flybridge Helm Station with your engine controls, uh, engine levers, engine controls, the uh, uh, displays uh, with the manual gauges and then the compass, autopilot, new Simrad chart plotter, VHF and the indicators for the speed, the depth 
and also the wind direction. And of course, the view from here is really, really good. You see the bow for the maneuverability. And even through the stairs from, uh, uh, that lead up to the flybridge, you can actually see a bit to the back of uh, uh, the boat. Obviously, depending on how you are, I'm like 1 meter 88, so I can see the aft reading, and that makes me quite comfortable in maneuvering this yacht. And here comes the conclusion. This is a classic styled yacht in perfect condition with everything you need for under 1 million euro VT paid, ready for the season and the new owner. For me, her main advantages are that you have space for a tender and a jet ski. The interior is generous, classic, yet very practical. And also you have the audio video equipment upgraded to the latest generation. And then the crew always maintain this boat spotless. It's classified by the Rena Pleasurecraft class and has everything certified, followed every year. And then she is owned by one family since new. So, if you would like to see that yacht in person, I would be delighted to give you a tour. She is located in Nice, so don't hesitate. Just give us a call, send us a WhatsApp by pressing the button below. And thank you for watching this video. We speak yachting. Let's talk.